let's look at this synthesis here. We are going from an alkyl, uh, sort of a halide, because there's nothing happening on the benzene ring. The benzene ring is just for, pardon, but just decoration, right? It's not doing anything. So everything is happening on the outside, okay, of the benzene ring. So you're going from an alkyl halide to an aldehyde. That's our first observation. Our second observation is that we have added carbons. So here we have one, two, and here we have one, two, three, four carbons. So which means that we need to add carbons, okay? So when you have to form a carbon-carbon bond, you need to think about a few reactions, okay? So the few reactions might be uh, Grignard. Oh my God, that's like the most common one, right? Grignard adds, um, you know, carbon-carbon bonds, and it also forms an alcohol, which might be useful for us because, you know, we need to add an aldehyde. So an alcohol will give us, you know, an aldehyde uh, by oxidation. So Grignard is one. And since you're adding two carbons over here, you can also think about adding an alkanide. Okay, so let's do both. Okay, let's do both of them one by one so we can see uh, how they both work out. Okay, for us. So I'm going to go ahead and erase all of this and we'll get started. <clears throat> so in the first synthesis, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this one and we're going to add the um, alkanide. Okay, let's do that one because that's I think that's easier. But Grignard is not that hard either. Anyway, we can do Grignard as well if you want. So, le okay, let's do Grignard since I wrote that first. So, here's the Mg that we're going to add because we already have the alkyl halide there. So, now we have this. You know what? I'm not going to write all of this because it's going to take so much space. So, I'm just going to write pH. So pH, and then we have uh, the two carbons. So that's two carbons, and then MgBr. So now I need to add two carbons, right? One, two carbons. So to add two carbons to a Grignard reagent and also get an alcohol, the best thing to do would be to add epoxide. Okay, so that's one, and then two would be the H3O plus, okay, over here. And since I am doing the color coding, I might as well do that here, okay? And so uh, an epoxide, see how this works, is going to be that you have the Grignard here, and then this opens up, right? So epoxides always give you primary alcohols. And so then our product is going to be pH, and then you still have the two carbons, and then that's one, two. Always number your carbons if you're not sure, okay? And then you're adding one, two from the epoxide, the one, two, and on the second one, you have the alcohol, okay? Always number your carbons in case you feel, I still do number my carbon because sometimes, you know, you kind of, you're doing so fast, you tend to forget. So now once you have the alcohol, now you have your four carbons, all you need to do is oxidation, and I cannot imagine a simpler synthesis than this, right? So PCC, and we're done. We're pretty good there, okay? So easy enough synthesis. So let's go ahead and do the other synthesis with the alkanide. So that was with Grignard, and now with the alkanide, we're going to have, again, this starting material that we have. Now you can add the alkanide here, okay? And so how do we add the alkanide? The alkanide, you're going to add CCCC minus, and then don't forget to write the Na plus. So which means you've already made this, right? And the way you make an alkanide ion, just to give you a side note, is take an alkyne, whatever alkyne, it has to be terminal, and treat that with sodium amide, okay? That's how you get the sodium counter ion there. So once you have this, again, this is going to be just like an SN2 reaction, right? And so that goes away, and then you get your product, which is going to be the pH. So you already have the two carbons there, uh, one, two, and then you have to add the triple bond. Now, depending on your comfort level, if you want to draw the carbon carbons, you can. If you don't want to, you're okay with the line structures, leave it that way. And of course, here, you can write the two, which is going to be H3O+. plus. Generally, what we add is ammonia sometimes and ammonium salts, which help to protonate right here, okay, because you need an, a hydrogen here at the end to give a neutral product. So um, that's the protonation here, okay? So now we have an alkyne, 
and from an alkyne to an aldehyde is not bad at all because we know that we can go ahead and do hydroboration on this one so BH3 THF yeah the writing is a little bit weird and then two of course is the peroxide okay with the uh, base so once you do that you will get the product so that's easy enough okay and so uh two three four and then here's the aldehyde um okay so uh you know two small synthesis very nice and neat question is is any one better than the other no it just depends on what you have at hand you know so what reagents you want to use and that's it you know you decide whichever synthesis you want to do okay so i'm just going to go ahead and write uh one and two so you know there are two synthesis here okay that's it